Hey you guys and welcome back to the channel. My name's Heister. So thank you for coming along in today's episode of Prehistoric Kingdom. We are indeed looking at the lovely mammoths today, the big fluffy things that look like many from Ice Age. I think they're absolutely adorable. I love their ears, I love their trunks, their horns and the hair on top and yeah just overall they're a fantastic animal. So this is the habitat I originally built I think it was about a month ago and I kind of abandoned it and I got distracted by making other videos and I've come away from the game for a couple of weeks now just due to work and other things I was doing. I was actually playing different games but just yeah doesn't matter and uh, yeah so I, I, I kind of come back to it and then I realized I never had the saves for it so I continued on from where I left off so you'll see from the beginning of the video as you're watching now uh, the video kind of looks like you're missing about 10-15 minutes of like terraforming and that's yeah because it's gone um, so I carried on there I wanted to keep the same idea because I did like what I left and I wanted to build on but what I wanted to do this time was to kind of not build a rectangle structure or anything like that but and keep it like a just literally a viewing area so that you go into the you go inside and you've got maybe two or three different viewpoints from inside of it as well so we had a bit of a different shape and we used it kind of um, like a mountain theme so the idea was to call it mammoth mountain that was yeah a bit cringe i know but that was the idea i was going to try to create and uh, but I just again to keep it nice and simple that the guests go in there you've got some benches you've got some ornaments laying around you've got toilets and staff rooms in a, a rest like yeah staff room sorry where they can relax and uh, yeah it just gives you a nice little view where you can actually move around and change like where you're viewing into the habitat because I do notice that if you do go into a zoo uh, you kind of have like a one-way system in a sense where you follow it around and you'll be given like maybe three or four different views to view that one habitat and so I used three separate different glass areas for them to have a look and see inside. Uh, the mammoths themselves inside of the habitat, I put 10 in total, so there's quite a lot of them in there. But um, again, the habitat was bigger than I anticipated it to be compared to the mammoths. And I'm using the uh, glacier version of the mammoth, which is a slightly smaller version compared to the other two within the game. And uh, they do look quite kind of small in there at the moment, but I think it gives them loads of room. They're a massive animal. They're gonna like to have a lot of space. I think they do need a lot of space. I think it's very nice to give the animals all that freedom and movement and to keep the environment very, very natural. Now, I noticed a lot of my videos as well that uh, when I'm doing the speed builds that the retention does tend to drop off a lot, which I, I'm, not, I'm not surprised. I mean, it's like, you know, there's only so much of speed building you can watch until you kind of like, oh, I'll just get to the end now. So there's only going to be like a little bit of speed build. It's going to be kind of sped up uh, enough for you to kind of take in what I'm doing. And then at the end of it, I'll go on a little tour just to show you like a little two minute tour around kind of what I built and what I've done. And uh, yeah, from there. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. I'll catch you very soon at the end of the vid uh, episode, uh, video, episode, episode, video. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> and uh, I'll catch you very, very soon. Thank you for stopping by and watching. And thank you for your comments in the previous videos as well. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for your support. It means a lot. Enjoy this, guys. And I'll catch you very soon. See you later. Bye bye. Okay, so we're going on a quick tour right now, and as you can see, this is the entrance to the mammoths. We have the glacial version of them in this habitat, so we went for the more colder theme as you saw in the speed build beforehand, but I quite like the entrance. It's kind of uh, nice and simple, but it's really got a nice kind of foliage going on, trees there, keeping it quite natural and just a real nice kind of natural feeling going in. So as we walk down here, we have one guest there coming down the paths. We have a nice little staff area here. Where the staff can go down and go inside to the habitat onto the other side 
And as we come up here, we have the main entrance up there. But just before you go in there to see on the other side, you can come along here as well. You get a nice view in there. You can see them very up close. You can see them laying down. But as the habitat is quite large and it does venture over to here, we built an extension coming up along here. So I didn't use any signs or any posters or anything like that. I just used the actual figurines and statues to show you kind of where you are and what you're seeing inside of this habitat. So we go through here. We come through. We got some benches. We got some more ornaments on show. We have a staff room around the back. Some benches here as well. So you can take a little seat. And uh, you got toilets here and another bin as well. Stop the loitering and uh, sorry, the littering, not loitering. And uh, as we can look at here, you got a nice view over to the left hand side of the habitat. You can see one sleeping there few of them in the back there and as we come across you've got a nice view as well coming straight across so you are kind of um you, your view is kind of cut off a little bit by here but I, I you know it's it's you've got kind of gives you the opportunity to move around and see from different angles i have been into sort of habitats and zoos where you do tend to kind of change your position to see something at a different angle where you walk around to another side and it kind of encourages you to kind of go around the whole building but if we go up here now, you can see, so yes, a lot of this was built, as I mentioned at the beginning, and I didn't save it. I kind of built it and then I left it for a while and it kind of got abandoned for about a month. And I thought I'd come back and finish it off and put the mammoths in here. And here they are, absolutely adorable. I love this this little top bit on their, on their head. It's so just fluffy, it's awesome. And I like the way their ears move as well. They just wiggle around, there's always a bit of movement there. And if you come around the back, you can see as well the towel is always sort of moving as well you can see there's a bit of movement when it walks obviously not now when i'm showing you but if we go over here you can see there it is it's got a nice movement and you can see it just looks like a very heavy animal and it gives that impression that it's got a lot of weight and it's moving around as if it's not just floating which is i really like that it's a nice little realistic effect from the game we have a bit of blending in here no one saw this we didn't see this <laughs> but no we have the lake coming down here as well they can cross across here to get into their habitat to sleep sorry their shelter they go in here and again it's kind of surrounded by some rocks we've got some foliage we've got some undergrowing weeds and things in there as well but you can see it's quite shallow and just as we mention it there we go walking across probably going to stop there and walk back but yeah they can walk across here it's a really nice view i think you know it gives a nice sort of really natural vibe and the, the view in here you can see you've got the main view there another view here on the outside and of course, I didn't show you, did I? I forgot. Uh, you probably saw it in the speed build, but we'll come along here. And we'll sneak in here. I hope nothing's changed. Uh, there we go, the staff room. Oh, my kitchen's gone because I placed the rock over it. Fantastic. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and the <laughs> oh, disaster. Should have pre-checked. Never mind. But yeah, you get the idea. This is the staff room. Uh, I will adjust that afterwards. They've got a little TV here, some books and that to sit down. But it's just, yeah, just to relax. And there was a kitchen here, like a sink, where they could obviously touch things up and uh, do things and yes there is a hole in the wall to escape and join the mammoths there has been a rock being removed so i have i did find it a little bit frustrating building sometimes um placing some rocks and they just kept kind of moving more rocks because they were merged and then it said they wasn't merged so it was really confusing but i got there in the end but yeah i'll, I'll fix it up and we'll pretend we never saw that <laughs> okay yeah so that's the habitat overall guys you can see uh, it's, it's pretty large, I think. Got loads and loads of room. I've got about, I think I've got 10 mammoths in here in total. Five female and five male. And uh, I think it's lovely. It's really good light spacious for them. So, yeah, hope you enjoy it, guys. Hope you like it. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll catch you very, very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.